Happy New Year. Yes, this is January the 1st, 2019. And I wanna wish you a Happy New Year. I wanna start out by first of all, thanking all of you for your amazing support in 2018, whether you are a member of my team or whether you are somebody who takes in the content that we offer, I really appreciate you. I want you to know how much it means to me to have been able to serve you, to serve uh, your growth, your development. I just want to thank you for, for, for being there for me, for helping me to get out in the world and do what it is that I do, allowing me to fulfill my purpose. So let's start with that for 2018. As we move into 2019, you know, uh, I could give you all kinds of tips on how to meet your goals and how to say, you know, how to guarantee that your goals will be met. But the truth of the matter is, if you want to know that, go watch, a, I've done a video on that before. It's called how to, how to make sure you meet all your goals. So you can go look that up. I'm not going to go into that right now. I'm going to talk about something a little bit different than goals and resolutions for 2019. What I'm going to ask you to look at is this is when we look at our lives, doesn't matter who we are, doesn't matter how wealthy or how poor we are, doesn't matter how tall or short or fat or thin or what color or what race or any of those things they are, when you look at your life, you'll realize that your entire life is based on relationships. What are the relationships you have? But just think about that for a moment. And when you're writing your goals or you're thinking about your resolutions, consider that. So as you start looking at that, you start looking at the relationships you have and the relationships that you want, what I'm going to ask you to do is to consider this. Take a look at, as you look back on the year that's gone by, what are the feelings that you don't want? What are the feelings that you, your behavior has generated in you that you don't want, that you don't want to feel those feelings anymore? You want to feel something else in your relationships, in your interactions with people. And take full accountability for the fact that you, even if you are around people, you go, but no, they were horrible people. Well, you put yourself around them. What are the feelings that you, in some way, through your behavior, or through your lack of behavior or lack of behavior, what are the feelings that you generated in the last year that you don't want anymore? And make your decisions, your commitments around actions and relationships that take those feelings away. The next thing is, as you move forward in 2019, what I want you to do, what I'd love for you to consider, is how do you wanna feel? Now you've seen it, it, I've written quotes about this before, and it's not mine, it's not original, and that is, the purpose of a goal is not for you to reach the goal. The purpose of a goal is for who it transforms you into in the process of pursuing it. That's why your goals need to scare the crap out of you a little bit because it'll mean you'll have to evolve, you'll have to change, you'll have to become something bigger than what you are right now. But when you think about that to the end result, what is it you want to feel when you reach that goal? And then in order to do that, look at, well, what are the behaviors that I need to be in order to feel that way? So if I'm going to become this person by reaching this goal, whatever that goal is for you, how will I feel? Not by reaching the goal, but how will I feel by being that person? Because here's the news. You can be that person right now. That can be your resolution is to be that person right now. You go, you know, I wouldn't be so stressed out if I had all the bills paid and I would be a more compassionate person. Well, uh, you know, I'd be so much more compassionate if I had the bills paid then be compassionate. Decide that that's the feeling you're gonna carry around. Or whatever it is for you. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not even considering telling you what feelings you should pursue. But what I know is that goals often reach a, a level of success. And what I know is that success is at best transitory, at best something very temporary. But fe feelings, pursuing the things that bring us the feelings is is put in place by pursuing fulfillment. You can be successful, or you can be successful and fulfilled. But the interesting thing about becoming fulfilled is you pursue the fulfillment and the success happens. So that is my New Year's message to you. I wanna thank you for your love, for your support, 
in my in the past year i want to thank you for your continued love and support in watching the videos in following the podcast on itunes on on pippa um, io on uh, our tv stations on binge tv on smart Fem tv on roku tv uh, for reading the articles on fullmontyleadership.com, for sharing those articles, sharing those videos. You know, I just want you to know that I appreciate all the ways that you help me to fulfill my purpose by sharing my message out there with others. I look forward to serving you in the year ahead. I look forward to you reading my new books that are going to be coming out to, because um, we've got some new stuff coming out that's pretty exciting, uh, to being part of our new courses that we're doing that will be online digital courses so that you can access them from anywhere in the world without actually having to need to be in a room with me or even jump on a plane. So again, I just want to thank you for making it possible for me to live that. And as I finish up this message, I'm going to ask you a simple question. Who do you love and how could you treat them better? Moving into a new year means letting a new, an old year go by. And I remind you that you cannot, you cannot arrive at the place you want to be while you're holding on to the place you are. As you move into 2019, think about all the things you need to let go of in order to get what it is that you want, in order to become the person you want, in order to have the level of fulfillment that you want, in order to feel what it is you want to feel. My parting advice to you is always the same. Stay curious, my friend. Stay curious about a magnificent year ahead filled with curiosity, elegance, ease, and joy.